Well, you could say the new year started with some sense of relief after investigators arrested the man who they believe murdered four University of Idaho students. But news that the suspect lived right here in Pullman and was studying at this very university had many students here at WSU worried. Before Brian Koberger's arrest, law enforcement released no information about a potential suspect, which meant over the course of six weeks, WSU students had no idea the suspect walked among them. It's been extremely hectic and kind of scary, especially with the fact that he actually lived next door to me on the neighboring property. WSU senior Megan House felt uneasy after learning the news about the suspect, but she is reassured knowing he is now in custody and that fellow students seem to be looking out for one another. I mean, I do have pepper spray on me at all times just for that extra bit of protection, but it's definitely a lot better coming back knowing that he's caught and people are looking out for you all the time. I asked Pullman and WSU PD to comment on their knowledge of the suspect prior to his arrest, but because the agencies fall under the Idaho judge's non-dissemination order, they cannot discuss this. But WSU Police Chief Gary Jenkins told me student safety was always made a top priority. Whenever there's a situation like that, there's a, a, an unknown suspect, you know, there's really any possibility. And so we always uh, plan uh, and take that into account and make sure that we do uh, provide enough, uh, as much resources and safety as we can. Some of those resources include a free walking service with WSU cadets in the evening hours on campus. The service wasn't heavily used early last semester, but Chief Jenkins says he did see an uptick in the months following the murders in Moscow. WSU cadet captain Michael Maddox, a student at WSU, is glad that he can help fellow students feel safe on campus. Being able to help my peers, help the people on campus just feel safe, especially because so many don't feel safe right now, is just amazing. It's an amazing feeling. and. I really appreciate that I get to use my training experience I've developed in this program. Now, I've been on the WSU Pullman campus all day today, and I'm standing right here on the Terrell Mall. It's a big intersection for students heading to class. And I did notice that while some students are feeling a bit uneasy about their return to Pullman after the suspect's arrest, it did seem like business as usual here. A lot of students I heard laughing, exciting to, excited to reunite and see friends, and also ready to take on another semester of classes. Reporting from WSU, Amanda Rowley, Creme 2 News.